Hello everybody, I am Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Moscow campaign in EU4 Mu and Taxes. A couple things happened. Actually, three things happened. One, my heir died. So I have a personal union. I'm going to have a personal union. If my current ruler dies, he is 47. That war is between Nizhny Novgorod and Tiver. I don't think it's going to happen. I'll probably get an heir before then. Uh, the other thing is, I attacked Terusa, Ryzen, and Novosil, and I conquered them all. And then I got some event for tribes to settle in Ryzen. Where is it? And they gave me three force limit, three thousand manpower increase. It's a chasm levies, three thousand manpower increase, and like three. Yeah, three force limit. So now I have 9,000 troops. I have 5,000 cavalry. Uh, the reason you didn't see this is because I filmed it. And I accidentally unmuted my mic halfway through. And I didn't. I muted my mic and I didn't unmute it. So I have the footage, it's just muted. So I'm not going to release it, just because it's it's muted, so. Right now, I'm going to attack Nizhny Novgorod. I'm going to annex, annex them, these two provinces. They are allied with Yaroslavl and Tiver. I'm going to try to piece those two guys out as quickly as possible and just focus on Nizhny Novgorod. Alright, so, let's do it for, uh, Sue's doll. Then my vassals can attach. Everybody attach to me. Alright, these three guys do have tech level advantages, but I outnumber them, so hopefully that's enough. Should be enough. Go ahead and Let's see. Will they leave? They will. Perfect. Neither of them. I didn't call either of them in as co-belligerents because Yaroslavl is allied to Novgorod and Tiver is allied to Lithuania. So I don't want really any territory from either of them because I'm not going to co-belligerent them. So I'm just going to piece them out as soon as possible. Alright, they've moved more than 50%, so I'll let them attack me. They can't stand up to my cavalry. They have a couple of provinces without forts, so I think if I take those, they'll probably want to peace out. Uh, the Doctrine of Pacifism. Da -da -da. Some guy's preaching. Oh, he's preaching about pacifism. That uh, makes sense. Uh, order troops to ignore him or execute him. I get morale of armies reduction, or stability increase interval, missionary strength, tolerance of the true faith, and yearly legitimacy. Lose 12 legitimacy. Well, this is only for like three months, so I'll do that one. I 
just uh, shouldn't fight any battles, except for this one. Before me. Alright, they will go. That just leaves us with Nizni. Done a mission. Idea cost. I'll keep. I'll, ah, I'll save that. Keep it in my pocket until I'm ready. Because I only have one idea group, and I'd rather it's a mill group, so I'd rather spend that on my tech versus ideas. I don't want to get any farther behind on mill tech. Let's let our vassals show up. They're probably going to take this province. That was what, May? Yeah. What is my, uh, what's my morale right now? Two point one six. I outnumber him three to one, so I'll just fight him. Should defeat him. Wow, they grabbed that just in the nick of time. Who's this? Novo Sil, you grab this province really quickly. Go. I'll leave two troops there. And then these guys can go up. Grab Nizni. Who's this? Kazan is offering troops for free. I don't really need them. But, sure. Uh, where are you going? You're going there? Noble family requests aid, 53 ducats for 5 loyalty, or lose 5 loyalty. Sure. They built 3 troops. This is a fort level 2. I'll leave those guys there. Hunt out this rogue 1k stack. Corrupt taxman. I don't want to lose admin.
Nation rank has changed. Let's see. Principality. What is that? What changed? Oh, we're now average. Yeah, 100 pop. We have 101 pop. Okay. Fine by me. It'd be great if I could vassalize Vorotinsk. They don't, uh, they don't want it though. Halfway there. Uh, let's see. Sunni Mosque? Yes, sure. Give me those five ducats. Alright, I don't need 7,000 troops there, so... Rostov, you have no men. You go back. And you know what? You might as well go back as well. Can I get manpower? Alright, so now all we have to do is grab this province. Looks like uh, Lithuania is fighting the White Horde. Might be a good time to attack them. They are allied with Transoxiana. And I'm pretty sure Transoxiana has a lot of troops. I think they do. They're somewhere over here. So they might not be able to get over, but I'm not sure. I don't know how many troops exactly they have. It's probably something to think about. What else is going on? France and England are fighting each other. England is losing. I'm pretty sure they declared that war. Yeah. Okay, France was allied to Castile. So, England is dumb for attacking France and Castile. Novgorodian noble rebels. So I wanted to vassalize these guys because I need that territory for a mission. I need those four provinces for this mission. And then... Oh, okay, I actually need Bryansk as well for this mission, so... That kind of sucks. And then this one is Yaroslavl and Nizhny Novgorod. This is the one that I am closest to doing, and I could probably do it soon. I'll get half of that in this war, assuming my aggressive expansion isn't too high after I try to grab Nizhny Novgorod. And then I can grab Yaroslavl's territories after the truce with them expires. How much aggressive expansion would I get? That's a massive amount. 
So, Nizhny Novgorod would join, but they're gonna die. Tiver, Yaroslavo, and Belo Zero. Well, I have truces with Tiver and Yaroslavo, so I'd have to fight. I can fight Belo Zero next. Knock them out. Then I could fight Yaroslavo afterwards. They're just allied with Sukov. I do have 10 favors with Novgorod, so I think I'll call in Novgorod if they would join against Belu Zero. Then they can fight Sukhov, and then I can take these two provinces, and then I'll fight Yaroslavo. They're allied with Novgorod, so then I can f I'll move against Novgorod, and I'll use their favors, and then... Probably take this piece of territory from them. So that's my plan. That's my thinking. Alright, you give me those two territories, 30 ducats. Did they... they just allied Tiver? Huh. Ah, uh, that's actually fine. I can just move my troops over here and stack wipe them. That's actually probably better because that also pushes the peace deal with them further into the future. They can't ally anybody else. The alliance limits two, so... And I can even fight this war with Kazan's troops. Uh, I could cancel it. But they're free troops, so... move one guy over here to take this territory right away, and then I'll just stack wipe them, hopefully they'll peace out, and then I can move up here and fight them. That will be in the next part, and for now I am going to end this part here and pick it up there, so thank you for watching, I will see you then, goodbye.